The 1st Battalion of the Meghalaya Police on Monday, 2nd April 2022 had celebrated its Golden Jubilee at the MLP Battalion headquarters at Maoyong. Dignitaries present included Meghalaya Home Minister Lakmen Rimbui, Special Director General of Police Ai Nongrang, Commandant of the 1st Battalion of the Meghalaya Police Claudia Lingwa, officials of the police department besides others. <laughs> Captain General, give a salute to the Honorable Chief Guest on Dias on March. Number six contingent is led by the new PABSI one submartha, who is a mountaineer and an investor. by EBSI Miranda and EBSI Stasun Mara. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you, madam. Thank you very much. It is a privilege for me to be able to present here in your midst to celebrate the achievement of this battalion in the last 50 years. I pay my tribute to the service rendered by the past personnel, the retired personnel of this battalion, and also the present. In these last 50 years, I'm sure all the personnel of this battalion have served with dignity, responsibility, and the best for the state. It is because of the service rendered by them that the police department as a whole could overcome so many challenges at hand. Policing Nowadays, as the commandant has already mentioned, it is very difficult. It is very challenging in this new world order. The police personnel are living in a glass house where everybody trying to judge and judge what they are doing and what they are uh, in discharging their duties. As we know, in the age of digital era, there is mandated by the Supreme Court that all the Tana should be installed with CCTV and all the crime scene have to be videographed, photographed, and all the activities have to be properly recorded so that anything happen and anything this reality could be substantiated. 
Why it is like that? It is because police is uh, is for society and society needs policing but there is always a mistrust between the society and action of police no matter what having said that it is because of the selfless sacrifice made by the policemen that we are able here today the Makhaya police as a whole has achieved many things in the past and also now but it's a continuous process the dynamic of crime is changing the dynamic of investigation is changing and the dynamic of presenting of Chatship is changing. I'm very happy that the police department as a whole as are alive to the situation and they have empowered themselves to meet all these challenges. On the law and front, we have seen that in the past many days, I mean this a few years, the crime has subsided. Subsided is not only because of the endeavor of the police, it is also because the society as a whole are, they want that peace should prevail in the state of Mekhalia. And not only that, we have seen that in most of the crime which happen, be in Shulong or in other part of the state, the police department able to trap, able to map many of the culprit. I'm very happy that even HNLC has agreed without condition to have a talk so that a amicable solution could be arrived so that peace and tranquility could be there in the state of Mekhalia. Having said that, it is not very easy as a policeman, as I said before, that every action, there is always a reaction. But I'm very happy that the personnel, in spite of many challenges, in spite of many criticism, in spite of many uh, things they are doing their duty, Beautifully. As the government, we will try to support in every uh, in every uh, be in infrastructure, be in technical thing or anything, so that because by empowering the police department, it is like empowering the people who set the society so that peace or crime in the state could be reduced as much as possible.